ಮೇದಿನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿನೋದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನುತೆ ಶ್ರೀವರವಿಂದ್ಯ ಶಿರೋದಿನಿ ವಾಸಿನಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಜೇಷ್ಣುನುತೆ ಹೈ ಗೈಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪುರಾಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಸ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ of nether regions that is patala or naraka those kinds of places lomaharshana said that is the rishi who is describing the ins- entire incidents of the brahma purana to other rishis to other saints and sages sitting down in the nemisha forest in up lomaharshana said o supreme sages i have spoken about the expanse of the earth its height is said to be 70000 yojanas o supreme among sages each of the re- nether regions is 10000 yojanas below the preceding one they are atala vitala nitala sutala talatala or talatala rasatala and patala as the seventh o indras among brahmanas the grounds there are respectively black white red yellow graveled mountainous and golden so atala is black vitala is white nitala is red sutala is yellow talatala is graveled rasatala is mountainous patala is golden they are adorned with excellent mansions o supreme brahmanas thousands of species of danavas daityas nagas those with gigantic bodies and their kin that is their family members dwell there from the nether regions Narada went to an assembly in heaven and said that the nether regions are more beautiful than the world of heaven there are sparkling and radiant jewels that bring delight in the nether regions these form the ornaments of the nagas what can possibly match this the daitya and danava maidens are extremely beautiful even an emancipated person is enchanted in the nether regions do you know what emancipated person here means a person who has attained moksha Even an emancip- emancipated person is enchanted in the nether regions. During the day, the sun's rays illuminate but do not scorch. During the night, the moon's beams illuminate but do not cause a chill. The Nagas rejoice with food, objects of pleasure and excellent drinks. The Danavas and others do not even realize how time passes. There are beautiful groves and rivers, water bodies filled with lotuses. There are the melodious calls of male cuckoos and other birds. The sky is pleasant. The ornaments, fragrances and unguents are exceedingly beautiful. O Brahmanas, the sounds of veenas, flutes and drums can be heard all the time. Other than this, there are objects of pleasure that the Danavas enjoy. Daityas, Uragas and others who reside in the nether regions also enjoy them. in his tamas form vishnu exists below the nether regions he is known as shesha and the daityas and danavas are incapable of describing his qualities he is described as ananta and is worshiped by siddhas gods and devashis his 1000 hoods are evident decorated with a swastika mark and sparkling ornaments the jewel on his 1000 hoods illuminate the directions for the welfare of the universe he deprives the suras of all their energy he always wears a single earring and his eyes roll around in, in, in intoxication with a diadem and a garland he is radi- he is as radiant as a mountain that is on fire he is attired in blue garments and is ino- intoxicated he is adorned with a white necklace the divine ganga descends on mount kailasa and he is as lofty as that The tip of his hand rests on a plow and he holds an excellent and radiant mace. Ray mace meaning gada. He is worshiped by the handsome and embodied form of Varuna. At the end of a kalpa, Rudra emerges from his mouth in the form of Samkarshana, blazing like a fire with poisonous flames to devour the three worlds. The resplendent form of Shesha holds up the globe of the earth on his hoods. Shesha resides in the nether regions and is worshipped by all the gods. Even the gods are incapable of knowing or describing his valor, powers, nature and form. The flames from the jewels on his hoods turn the entire earth red. It, the that is the earth, is like a garland of flowers for him. Who can speak about his valor? His eyes rolling around in intoxication. 
Ananta yawns and the earth, with its mountains, water bodies and forests, starts to tremble and quake. The Gandharvas, Apsaras, Siddhas, Kinnaras, Uragas and Rakshasas do not know the extent of his qualities. He is Ananta, the one without decay. The wives of the Nagas use their hands to apply yellow sandalwood paste on him. The wind from his repeated breathing wafts this fragrance in all the directions. In ancient times, Garga worshipped him and learnt the truth about Jyotisha. He thus understood everything about cause and effect. That supreme serpent holds up the earth on his hoods. He illuminates all the worlds along with the gods, the asuras. He illuminates all the worlds along with the gods, the asuras and humans. Jaya, jaya, he